Hey everyone, it's OSK, and today I have for you the ultimate fishing guide for Neo Replicant. I've already given up on including the version number already, so please don't ask me about it. In this video, I will guide you through how to fish, what bait to use, where to find the fish, and how to increase your fishing skill level by completing a set of quests. This guide is great if you want to learn how to fish easily, if you're trying to search for certain items to upgrade your gear, or if you're just looking for some extra cash to buy that awesome new weapon you saw at the merchant. We'll go over all this and even a specific technique that I used to fish as a PC player because the controls for this port and near replicant can be kind of finicky sometimes. Now before we get started, if you think I do a good job, please consider leaving a like on the video once we're done and subscribe if you'd like to see more near replicant content, I'll be making quite a bit of it. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into this. So for starters, let's get into how to start fishing. Spoilers ahead here folks, so if you don't want to be spoiled for one of the first parts of the main quest, you have been warned and you can skip ahead if you want. For the rest of you, if you've played through the main quest enough, you will eventually need to go to the town of Seafront to catch a shaman fish to make some pain medicine. Once you get to Seafront, you'll want to talk to this old geezer out at the pier. Keep him in mind, he's going to be important later. He'll give you a free fishing pole and lure and send you to the western beach where all the seals are. To cast your line, simply interact with the water when the game says you're able to in the top right of your screen and wait for a fish to bite. Once your bobber gets pulled underwater, press and hold the S key or back on your left analog stick and the fish stamina bar will pop up on your screen. The goal here is to keep the fish on the line until the stamina bar runs out. Now the fish isn't just going to let you catch it, it's going to put up a fight. It will occasionally move side to side to escape your hook. To keep the fish on the line and deplete its stamina bar, you'll need to move your movement keys or left analog stick in the opposite direction that the fish is moving. If it goes left, pull right. If it goes right, pull left. It's literally that simple. Do this until the stamina bar runs out and you'll catch yourself a fish. And this applies to literally every single fish you'll ever fish in your fishing adventures. Once you're done with that story quest, you can return to that old geezer to start the fishing gambit quest line. This essentially is your old long lost grandpa finally getting the chance to teach you how to fish except it's in a video game and you're not spending actual time with your grandpa like you probably should be. Anyway, by going through these quests, the old man will send you on trips to catch various kinds of fish throughout the game world to return to him and complete the quests. Each time you complete a quest, your fishing skill will increase making it easier to catch smaller fish and unlocking bigger fish throughout the game world. There are 9 of these quests in total with the first 5 quests available in the prologue and the last 4 quests after the time skip when Adult Nier comes around. No need to worry though, if you don't get to the quests right away, you can still complete all 9 quests as Adult Nier. After you complete all 9 quests, you'll be able to catch every single fish in the game and rake in that cash. Finally, I'll leave you guys with a little something special. You guys need to know where to catch all the fish, so I'll go through each location. Of course, you can fish from the beach at seafront, from the pier, from the eastern road, from the northern plains, and finally from the desert. I've also made a map of all the locations that I used to catch all the fish for the final gambit quests and beyond. And before I forget, while I have this image up, you'll notice that different fish require different bait. To get bait, simply go up to this guy in seafront, and some other merchants here and there might have some fishing bait on hand as well. You can get more lures, which you don't need, and you can get earthworms, lugworms, sardines, and carp. Make sure you use the correct bait for each fish you need to catch. Once you catch the fish, be sure to sell them for a hefty sum of gold. Rizodonts in the desert sell for the most at 15,000 gold, but you can also fish for royal fish in the eastern road in the prologue for 4,000 apiece as well. Now one last tip I have for you guys if you're catching more difficult fish on PC specifically, especially once you get to the blue marlin part of the final gambit questline, is to stop looking at where the fish is actually splashing and start looking at the stamina bar. PC controls are a little weird because you really only have 5 directions to work with, that being left, back left, back, back right, and right, but really you'll want to be holding back the entire time, so really 3 directions. For the more difficult fish, it's so easy to lose your catch if you're not paying close attention. What I do is I stare at the stamina bar and make sure it's always moving bit by bit. If the stamina bar is still, you're about to lose your catch, so you better start pressing a different key. Make sure you're glancing at where the line is moving, but focus primarily on that stamina bar. It will work wonders on catching residents. Anyway, if you feel like taking a break from the fast-paced action of Nier or just need some quick cash, fishing is a great way to pass the time. And that is going to do it for the ultimate fishing guide for Nier Replicant. Thank you guys so much for watching and tell me if you learned something from watching today's video. I think that last tip about looking at the stamina bar on PC is very important to follow to catch all your fish, so I hope you got a lot out of it. Of course if you're on controller, you don't really have that problem, so I hope you found the rest of the guide helpful. 
As always, please be sure to drop a like if you enjoyed the video and think I did a good job, and subscribe for more Near Replicant content. Also, follow me on Twitter and join the Discord for regular updates on videos and streams. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I've been OSK. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all out there.